Hi everyone. I am of course Jonathan J. Reinhardt here from Wargaming Recon and I'm coming at you with this new unboxing video. So a little while ago we had a video that came out where I said we had a bunch of Dwarven Forge material and we were going to unbox it now with a big box. And I was like, we're not going to dive in because I knew we were going to be doing these other videos. So this one here is actually focused on one of their sets from the City Builder Kickstarter campaign that they've come up with. And you can actually still buy them online from their website, dwarvenforge.com. I want to first of all thank the founder and owner, Stefan Picorni. He's very generously gave us these so that we could review them here on Wargaming Recon. We'll do a proper review on the podcast at wargamingrecon.com. So the first set that we're going to talk about is the Tudor set. And so it comes in a little box, like so, and it has all these cool pieces. So you get this roof, which is nicely painted. You can choose to get it unpainted as well. It's, I believe, $59 for the painted version for this set. You get the nice floor. You can see underneath, it's painted on all sides. There's holes all over for the posts. And you get some walls. So here's a wall. The entire set is modular. So that obviously has a window in it. Here's just another Tudor style wall. And in case you're not sure which end goes where, the bottom is just plain brown. See? And the top right here has that wood grain on it. And you get another window set in a wall. You get a door, right? So you need to get in somehow. The door opens both ways. Because you might want it this way, you might want it that way. And then you get four of these corner posts. I'm sure by now a lot of you have seen Dwarven Forge stuff. Or if you haven't, you should. But you might be like, well, how do we put this together? What do we do? So I'm going to show you first how to put together this Tudor cottage. And then I have over here the ruins add-on that you could get and that's like 72 dollars uh, for that so i'll show you that separate and then you actually use them together so let's get down here with the little nitty-gritty okay so bring you guys down close to me and apologize for the crotch shot okay so we get over here and actually get a lot of natural sunlight coming in so we just aim you like so here we go. See, you take your floor, and it has the four posts, the holes in it. So you put your posts in. It's pretty straightforward, right? So you just get it in, like so, and you repeat. You could just have a level with four posts, two posts. You can have it with one, any combination thereof. You choose what you think is best for you. All of these are actually intended for role-playing games, like D&D, Pathfinder, any of that kind of stuff. But in talking with Stefan, he thought that this set in particular would be really useful to war gamers. You can see I get some other accoutrements and another set I'm going to show you guys. And then you get to choose how you want them to go in. They literally just slot in. So you can see right here, we have little slots. It's angled. See? And it just it slots in like so you push it down so you can see that's the kind of fit you get right you can see it's a little loose which is not ideal i'm told you can boil them in hot water because this is a special type of plastic and that would allow you to bend them and get them a little tighter shape for the price point i actually think they should just fit better i think this looks really neat I love the modular nature of it, but look over here. That's a huge gap, people, right? Look at that. Right here. Big gap. That shouldn't be there. And it's noticeable. So you can tweak with stuff a little bit and you push and so forth. I don't think you should have to do that. I know things are a little bit better in his newer sets, but look at this. They kind of bowed out. So. so you need to give them a little pressure. It could be because they've been in a box. Could be maybe I'm doing something wrong, but it's supposed to be pretty idiot proof. So 
we're just pushing down. Here's the building. You get your roof. Put on roof like such. Open the door. Or maybe you want the door to open outwards. It's plug and play. It's durable. So I should let you know my toddler, my two and a half year old, has been playing with this. Loves daddy's toys. Loves daddy's house. And she was running with this one day because she was so excited we were playing with it. And she dropped it. My wife was like, oh, no. What, what happened? And she chastised her because we're trying to teach her to be careful with people's things. And also because a lot of daddy's toys are very breakable. This is so durable. I can do this. I'm not worried about it. You can actually see it's bouncing. Look, I think someone, but it's not breaking. So it is toddler friendly. I feel like they should market that as such. So here is your Tudor cottage. You notice it's kind of stepped up from the bottom, and that's because it's intended to work with their roads, which will be in another video. And then an add on you can get is here is the ruin set. So let's pull this out. Everything's nicely packaged because I haven't really done much with it. It comes with a lot of pieces, a lot, a lot of pieces. And that's why it's 79 bucks. And there's a look at this. I got this pile growing and growing. And these are all from this ruins. So you need the Tudor Cottage or some other Tudor sets or building sets from City Builder to use these. You could use them. Some of them anyway by themselves look at this i got this growing pile of dwarven forge here it's a lot of stuff and when you first look at the price and you're like 79 bucks or ruins what the heck is that about and i need other stuff but i tell you this is beautifully painted and you've got this mound of stuff here so you get a lot of pieces you get floors here actually yeah, these are floors, so depending on how tall your building is, you can align them differently. Got another floor here. You got these half walls, which I know you can then um, put together actually with some of these other pieces to create different configurations for whatever you like for the wall. This stuff is supposed to fit in pretty decently, so you get a bunch of these half walls. Right here, look at this. That's a lot of half walls. We'll use them with the set in a minute. We got these nice big posts. So they plug into the holes. They can plug in even here. Once I find the right hole. The more you use it, the easier the stuff goes in. But you see right here, look. And I got this. And I've added a new dimension to it. So you can actually use this on the ground, right? And just put this out and you have your figs and that's what's left of the building. You have that on the area. So we get those corners, we get these half wall pieces. There's a bunch of those. You get another half wall. The roof, this is gorgeous. So this is a ruined roof. It covers half of it. You can see they continue with the stuff. It comes with these which are flames, and I wasn't quite sure what you do with them until my toddler got at them, and you get these that have magnets, and I was like, okay, they're magnets, but what am I supposed to do? So here's your tutor house, right? Let's say you want to just start it being on flames. Caught on fire, it's going to be ruins. Take one of those, and it fits nicely into the windows. You could fit it into a door. They are more ideal for the windows. So you just plug them in, right? And that adds a little bit more character. Oh no, the house is on fire. What are we to do? My toddler discovered this. She's playing with them because she's a two and a half year old. They're all babies. She's obsessed with babies. Those baby dolls and all that. And so the, the people, the babies, which are the flames, wanted to go in and out of the house. And she happened to take one of these that has the magnet and she put it on the roof. And I was like, wait a sec, that's magnetized? I didn't even know that was magnetized. So you can put it anywhere on the roof. It's magnetized, I think. Are the floors? No, the floors are not. But the roof is magnetized. You can do, and this is great. It adds extra playability to it. 
then let's say you want to play around a little bit more. Here's a house standing, but the roof was all gone. Now, this roof is not magnetized, which is unfortunate, but it's a ruin, as you can see here. Or maybe you want to be a little crazy. That whole wall is burnt out. Let's say you're going to be really crazy and you put in the stud in. Let me find a more appropriate one, like so. So I put the post in, it's ruined, and you can see on the inside, it still has right here, look, slots for you to put things in, so it matches that. I can put a ruined wall in. We'll just slide that in, like so, or as such, it shouldn't really matter. The fit with these is a little finicky. That's my main problem with the Dwarven Forge stuff. But it looks nice, and you can forgive a lot. So you can have this as a ruin for your war game. You just put it out. You don't need its roof or the fancy stuff. You don't need the flames, nothing. Just put this out. Maybe this is all you got. This is very World of Warcraft, but you could have it be on your table as such. This is what's left of the building. Maybe you happen to have... Just a bit of a wall here. You don't have much. Maybe here's another post. And that's what's left. So it's completely modular. You can even do it with just partial walls. And I'll put a, another post in just for a little more stability. And here's the second floor. So you got... And that's another building. So you can put a guy. I don't have one handy. So that's a guy, like my daughter word, up here. You can even then add, you called it, another level. You don't even need to put the posts in. Like so. And here you go. So you can get a lot of wargaming playability out of it. These are really, really nice. Super nice set, worth the money. My main criticism, as I've said a few times, is the fit. So let's pull these apart. It's just getting the things to slide in. You can get them in, but it's a loose fit. Look at this. That is just my main complaint. And I think it's just part and parcel. I know other people who've had these have talked about this issue, and they've said that what they've done is they boiled it in water. It's not something I'm going to do. I will live with it. But if you want to get them, be mindful of that. And I should also say that we will have Stefan Pecorni on the podcast, wargamingrecon.com, in 2018. So you should look for that in our podcast feed and subscribe to us on all the places you get podcasts. So thank you for watching this video. I apologize for being nasally. I got a respiratory thing going on, and I'm asthmatic, but just part and parcel. And I really, I'm so excited. I wanted to get into this with you. I can tell you I'm going to be playing with this. I love this. I think it looks really good. And I'm actually going to have another video coming out where we're going to show you the stone building set. It's a cottage but made out of stone instead of the Tudor style that you get with this. And everything's interchangeable, which is really neat. So you can build multi-store stuff, and you can just put it all together. And clean up is a breeze because, look, I just got this pile right here. And that is clean up. And I just put it in boxes. I show you pictures of what you got, and you're done. So, as always, thank you yet again for watching this video and taking the time to spend with us here at Wargaming Recon. So, you know the drill. No matter how busy you are, no matter what's going on in your life, you know you gotta, you have to, you need to keep on gaming.